Hello student, once again welcome back to my channel after a long break as your class 11 biology exam is coming that's why today I'm going to discuss about the zoology part of the biology question paper of the year 2020. So let's proceed to the question paper. So first question come the fill in the blanks and it is carrying five marks. So first this higher multicellular animals are that symmetrical. So answer should be bilateral symmetrical means they can be equally divided into two parts. That type of symmetry is called bilateral symmetry as you know. Next alkaloids are metabolites. So they are secondary metabolites. Next question is protein part of enzyme is called what? That is answer is apoenzyme. Nuclear division is also called as answer is karyokinesis. Then proteins are the polymers of what? Amino acids. Next question number two. Again, it is carrying four marks. Each question is carrying only one one mark. So first question is what is dendrite? So dendrite are the appendices that are designed to receive the communications from other cells. They are resembled like a tree-like structure forming projection that becomes stimulated by the neurons and conduct the electrochemical surges to the cell body. So if only one mark comes, you just write up to here cell. But if two marks come sometime, then you have to write both the sentences. Next question, what is a cell cycle? The cell cycle consists of a series of steps during which the chromosomes and other cell materials double to make two copies. The cells then divided into two other cells, each receiving one copy of the double material. It means the cell cycle is the timing, means a time period during which one cell and divided into two daughter cells. Next question number three, name one protein splitting enzyme, means name of the enzyme which can break down the protein. So answer is pepsin. What node is called press maker of heart? So if this type of question come, your answer will be only one that is SA node, means sinus node. As you know that in heart, there is two type of node. One is AV node, another is SA node, but this answer is SA node. But if question come, why it is SA node is called press maker of heart, that answer is this. The sinus node continuously generate the electrical impulses there by setting the normal rhythm and rate in a healthy heart. Hence, the SA node is referred to as the natural press maker of the heart. Next question, what carries the oxygen from blood to tissue? The RBC means red blood cells contain a pigment called hemoglobin, each molecule of which bind four oxygen molecule and oxyhemoglobin is formed. And then the, like this, the oxygen molecules are carried to individual cells in the body tissue where they are released. Next question, what is skeletal system? The skeletal system is body central framework. It consists of bones and connective tissue, including cartilage, tendons, and ligaments. It is also called the musculoskeletal system. Write the difference between the following. Any two you have to write, it is carrying Two, two, two marks, total four marks. First one is voluntary muscle and involuntary muscle. These are the difference for voluntary and involuntary. Since uh, as this question are carrying only two marks, still I am giving the answer of four marks. So if two marks come, you just write three, three difference on each side. But sometimes this will this can carry four marks also, then you have to write at least four or five difference. That's why I'm giving you the answer as four marks. But if two marks come, you just write two or three differences. Next, mitosis, meiosis, cell division. So these are the differences, mitosis and meiosis cell division. Next question is essential and non-essential amino acids. So these are the difference of essential and non-essential amino acids. Next difference is blood and lymph. So these are the difference of blood and lymph. As you already know, what is blood, what is lymph? So just this is, so I am just time of revision. That's why I'm not going to explain this more details because already I have explained. So answer the following in brief any three and it is carrying two marks, right? Four general characteristic of arthropods. That's all the characteristic of an arthropod. First one is exoskeleton, means arthropods are invertebrates, which means their body don't have any internal bone for support first character then second one is segmented bodies arthropods have bodies are internally and externally segmented next one is jointed appendices bilateral symmetry and open circulatory system so here as for, since question is asking for four uh, characters still i am giving you five character next 
mention four biological significance of protein the biological significance of proteins are proteins are enzymes biological catalyst they form the structural component of cell they serve as a defense against the infection protein from several hormones such as glucon and insulin glucosin and insulin they are involved in the repair mechanism and growth of tissue of body they participate in the stopping bleeding with the help of fibrinogen fiber formed by forming the fibrinogen fibrinogen fiber Right, the constituent of human bile. Bile is a complex aqueous secretion that originates from the hepatocyte and is modified distally by the absorption and secretory transport system in the bile duct called epithelium. So, if question come, what is bile? Then you have to write up to here. But if question come, only write the constituent. Then you just write the next part only. That bile consists of 95% of water in which are uh, dissolved a number of endogenous solid constituents, including bile salt, bilirubin, phospholipid, cholesterol, amino acids, steroid enzyme, porifins, vitamins, and heavy metals, as well as exogenous drugs and environmental toxins. Next question, write about the silom. A silom is a hollow fluid filled cavity found in many living things who, where it acts as a protective cushion for their internal organ. In some animals, such as worm, the silom acts as a skeleton. The silom is also allowed the internal organ to move and grow independently of the outer layer of the body wall. And this is the diagram of silom. Suppose this is the digestive tract and this is the mesoderm means outer layer. In between this space is known as silom. This is work as like that. No need to draw the diagram. I am showing the diagram just so that you can easily understand. Next is mention the difference part of digestive of system of cockroach. So the cockroach has a long calf elementary group divided into three parts, foregut, midgut, and hindgut. And these are the different parts. Suppose foregut, just a minute, yeah. Fogat has this part. Suppose, example, include buccal samba, pharynx, esophagus, and gazette, like that midgut or mesentron. Another name of midgut is mesentron. This is carrying this uh, these organs. And last one is hindgut, who is contain ileum, colon, and rectum. Next, right short nose on any two. It's in carrying three marks, mechanism of enzyme action. So these are the structure of mechanism of, diagram of mechanism of enzyme action. It means first, this is the substrate entering the active of the enzyme means this is the, uh, and this is the substrate. And then this uh, substrate will uh, make a size, uh, means place where the substrate will be attached with this enzyme and make a enzyme substrate complex. Then the product will be formed and this is known as enzyme product complex. And then from the enzyme, the product is released to perform different work. So this is the mechanism, drawing of the mechanism. Then these are written here and enzyme attract the substrate to its active site, catalyzed by chemical reaction by which the products are form and then allow the product to dissociate it or separate from the enzyme surface. This combination formed by an enzyme and its substrate is called the enzyme substrate complex. So these are just explained in this diagram also, same thing. Next, cell cycle. Already the definition has, uh, I have already explained. Now just for three months, you have to write this. Cell cycle is a series of events that takes place in a cell as it grows and divides. A cell span most of its time in in what is called interface and during this time it grows, replicates its chromosomes and prepare for cell division. The cell then leaves the interface and undergo mitosis and completes its division. The cell cycle is a four stage process in which the cell increase in size. That stage is known as gap one or Z1 stage. Copies is DNA. That stage is called S phase. And prepare to divide. That stage is called gap two or Z2 stage. And finally, it divides means mitosis or M phase takes place. First, Z1 phase, S phase, and Z2 phase comes under interface. And last phase, second phase is called M phase. Next is nephron. Nephron functional unit of kidney, the structure that actually produces urine in the process of removing waste and excess substance from the blood. There are about one of nephron in each human kidney. Next, the principal task of the nephron population is to balance the plasma to hemostatic state point and excrete potential toxin in the urine. They do this by accomplishing three principal functions, filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. Next one is neuron. 
So this is what is neuron. You already know neurons are the fundamental unit of brain and nervous system and the cells responsible for receiving sensory input from the external world for sending motor command to our muscles and for transforming and relaying the electrical signal at every step in between. In between. Next question is, what is digestion? Describe the various digestive gland of human and their function. So first, the definition of digestion is that means it is a multi-site process that breaks down food into nutrients that your body can use to function every day. And there are four digestive glands in human digestive system, salivary gland, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. And these are the function, salivary gland, these glands are present in the mouth or buccal cavity. These glands secret digestive enzyme called saliva, which help in digestion of stars. There are three salivary glands in the mouth, and these are the name of the salivary gland. Next, the uh, or gland is liver. It is the largest gland of human body. That is also one important point for one mark can come. What is the largest gland of human body? You have to write then liver. It secretes bile juice, which helps in digestion of fats. Liver is the only organ which can regenerate itself even after being completely removed. Then is gallbladder. It is a small sac-like organ which store bile juice secreted by liver. This organ is removed in some people due to stone, etc. Last one is pancreas. It is an irregular shaped organ located between the junction of stomach and small intestine. Our question is another question. Or is also coming with this question that is classified the enzyme in IUB system. IUB means International Union of Biochemists. Full form of IUB sometimes may come. Then you have to write International Union of Biochemists. Enzyme are divided into six functional classes. And these are first one is oxidodeductase. So for, yeah, are you, uh, the, and these six kinds of enzymes are hydrolysis, oxidoreductase, lyase, transferase, ligase, and isomerase. So first one is oxidoreductase. This catalyzes the oxidation reaction where the electron tend to travel from one form of molecule to the other. Next one is transferase. Transferase means tra it helps in the transportation. That's why it is known as transferase. Next one is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis means hydrolytic enzyme. This is the hydrolysis by adding water. Hydrolysis takes place, reaction takes place by addition of water. That's why its name hydrolysis is used. Lysis, added water, carbon dioxide, or ammonia across double bond or eliminate this to create double bonds. Isomerase. The isomerase enzyme catalyzes the structure shifted present in a molecule and thus causing the changes in the shape of the molecule. Then ligases. The ligases enzyme are known to serve the catalyst of a ligation prop. Next, what is chemical coordination? Write the hormones secreted by <coughs> sorry, adenophosphatases and their function. So these are this question is carrying one plus two plus two is equal to five. So first you have to write the what is coordination. You have to write the definition. Then these glands are situated where these glands are situated. That you have to write. Then you have to write what these glands secret. Secret hormones, a series of chemical substances composed of protein or sterile lipid. Then this secrets nine other hormones, and these other hormones, growth hormone, promoter hormone, corticotope AC, TH hormone, uh, the, the, then FSH hormone, LH hormone, PRL hormone. So you have to remember the name of the hormone, which is full form. Suppose GH hormone, question may come, what is the full form of GH hormone? Then you have to write it is growth hormone, which promotes the growth. So these are the answer for this question. So this is the question paper of zoology of 2000. 20. So, and if you find any doubt, then you can uh, comment in below so that I can clear your doubt. And if you like my video, please like it and share it. Thank you.